again, Harry Reams International Airport. Today, we are heading to uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. But to get to Atlantic City, New Jersey, you have to go to Philadelphia. And actually, you gotta go to Chicago, and then Philadelphia, and then you rent a car, and then you go from there. It's a long way. Stay tuned. Morning. Nice to see you. Uh, early stuff throws off my whole schedule. What happened? Just the early stuff. Yeah. You know, throws off my stuff. schedule. Me too. I don't mind getting up. It just it throws off the whole poop schedule. And I'm all backed up. And I think unless you're trying to inflict ill will on the airplane, you should go in with an unloaded chamber. You have a fanny pack though, so that's good. Johnny D's Pizza. You know Johnny D is the drummer for the Doors Edge? He also was in a band called Brittany Fox. He'll be there tomorrow, Johnny D. But, uh, like a true Italian in an Italian restaurant, Johnny ordered, uh, he had to have balsamic vinaigrette. And grape soda, because we're in Rome. Well, that's true, but this is a nice place. Johnny D's world famous Tony Danza. Now, yeah, the, the, now Jerry, tell me why you're having the Tony Danza. Because I said, what is your most famous thing on the menu? And he said, that. Yeah, so, and you don't know what it is, though. Don't know. It looks, it looks like, like chicken with chicken broccoli. Don't yeah. know what it is. Water. Thank you. Water. Eric did not want to pay the ungodly water <laughs> prices. It cost us twenty dollars. So instead, we just paid a twenty dollar toll, seven dollar gas, forty dollars a gas, <laughs> and uh, it, it's a little dark. And but, uh, got... Here, I like you, boys. But uh, <laughs> ghost actually, I said not to go this far. I said abort. Let's go back well, to that that's other a lie. place. And yeah. these guys were feeling adventurous. Overruled. Well, yeah, I, and I think that with the, an hour here, you know, but with Atlantic City is right there. We could have went to the boardwalk. Our hotels were right. And the hotel we passed miles ago. So this was the Orange Loop Rock Festival in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Uh, it was June 2022. I didn't record a lot on this trip for some reason. I remember we had some fun, but this was a bit of a disorganized event. It was supposed to be a big outdoor festival. A lot of the bands didn't really fit with each other. They were trying to mix some of the hard rock with some of the grunge bands, and uh, it was a strange bill. But uh, they claimed that due to rain and horrible weather, they were going to have to move this festival inside an abandoned House of Blues in the Showboat Casino. Um, there was no rain, and it seemed like maybe this was a ticket sale issue. Uh, the first day, Friday, as you're seeing, was all um, tribute bands. Then Saturday, June 11th, was the day uh, Stephen Piercy was set to play. We arrived on that Friday. We all went out, as in the video you uh, just watched. And then uh, this bill. And I got there early and got to see and hang out with Doro Pesh, who's been on the show, my friends in Slaughter, my friends in Great White. Uh, it was great seeing all the guys. Most of these bands wanted to get in and get out. This was definitely a strange gig. And then Stephen played, and I will tell you that most of the people cleared out when Stephen was done. Even though Hinder and Chevelle, I, I suppose, have a big audience, uh, I'm not part of it. Um, it they didn't really fit at this festival. And this was strange because they had to move it inside last second. Like I said, things were really disorganized. I'm not sure anyone knew who was supposed to be doing what. And uh, they did have a midget wrestling uh, uh, area. Uh, that's their words, not mine. Uh, I would call it little person uh, wrestling, or I wouldn't have it at all. But anyway, uh, L.A. Guns, who was supposed to play the next day, they were playing on a tiny little stage next to the wrestling, and uh, it was uh, it was rough. And I remember you had to walk about 20 miles to get to the stage or to get to the dressing room. So uh, sometimes you get a trip like this, and it's uh, you think, okay, let's get to the next one. 
Look at show. Thank you, thank a gift from from a lady in Australia from another singer. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, you fix my hat, Judy. <laughs> 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 All right, we got it. Yeah, let's great. go. We oh, know how to do brilliant. it. Good. Good. It's kind of dark and moody. I like this. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> After the show, I met this nice family online buying merchandise, and I invited them back to meet Stephen. It turns out they have a band in New Jersey called the Bellas Band, and also cover uh, rat songs. So check them out. You were awesome. You were so amazing. Yeah, we love rats. We covered them. We actually covered them insane. Are you guys in a band? What are you called? We're called the Bellas. Bellas. That okay. Is great. What's your name? Oh, Julia's nice. All right. Dad got it? I'm yeah. the new singer. Wait, Dad, your mom's coming. Who sings? All right. Oh, you got a big shot. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> yeah, Alright so guys. Thank you guys. Oh. Alright, here we are. In the airport, you can now use a system where you just tap your card before you go in. 
and then you pick up whatever you want and you just leave and up in the sky they can track the card that you use it's amazing technology and johnny and i love it because there's absolutely no human contact so human interaction tap your card you go in take what you want you walk out no line no wait no nothing Hey, look at that! Birthday celebration! Thank you. Happy birthday, Johnny! I blow out your candle. Don't, don't put the COVID on. Did you make a wish? Just listen, it's not rocket science. I'm running out of film. All right, happy birthday.